I'm Ellis Barry, I'm a chef working on Anglesey, North Wales, and uh, I'm 28 years of age. My name is Ellie Dillon, I'm from Dorset. I was going to say currently a student, I've just graduated. I'm a retired physio um, and have been really quite active until last year I was skiing, playing tennis and in a walking group. My name is Paul Rose, I come from uh, Stevenage in Hertfordshire. I've had the polyethylene hip resurfacing procedure and it's been in place now for just under a year. I first noticed I was having hip pains when I was about 13 years old. Being a chef is a hard one for having the arthritis or any back problems um, because with, with the industry standards you, you talk, you're talking like 18 hours a day on your feet sometimes. I was just getting more bothered by the pain in my right hip. You get used to the pain in some ways, you manage the pain in some ways, uh, but increasingly I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do recreationally and in terms of keeping fit. The first year of university it would affect me quite badly. I would not go down to the canteen provided meals at my halls of residence. I could do about three or four hours a day and then the, the most like basic tasks of bending down to get the plates from the hot cupboard or wiping something up off the floor became really painful. I still participated in a few things but it didn't it wasn't the same quality of life I had before. Going under the knife is a quite a big decision, there's a risks attached. Uh, I'd had managed the pain for quite well as it was and my, my lifestyle had changed. All I wanted to be able to do after I had the surgery was just to get back into the kitchen. That was my main ambition. I love cooking. I was a bit apprehensive about having such a new um, hip but I really trust Derek McMinn. I had no knowledge about hip surgery uh, until I met my missus. Um, Charlotte, her grandfather, had two hip resurfacings with Mr McMinn about 15 years ago now. He's 80 odd and he's not had any issues with his hips since. He's done my mother's hips, he's been part of our family for quite a long time. So however new I was, I was fully accepting to put my trust into it. I came back to see Mr McMinn um, about looking at my right hip because the left one has been so successful. I've had it for 16 years and I've done everything like ski, abseil, down the John Radcliffe and all sorts of things that it's it's been absolutely brilliant. I'm quite confident that I've got the polyethylene hip resurfacing. Uh, the reason I'm confident is because I know the McMinn brand has been so successful for the past 30 plus years. Knowing the reputation of Mr McMinn and the fact that uh, you know how thorough he'd been and how he was a leader in the field and the, gave me the confidence to, to go on and, and push forward. So my hip now um, feels great compared to before the surgery. Obviously I've still got to work on getting back to full fitness and stretching out the scar tissues and whatnot but the pain's gone. I can sit down and I'm not in any discomfort. I can sleep at night. Uh, I, you know it's a lot more positive. Before the surgery I couldn't do any of that. There was, there was really few after effects in terms of my working life. It just I went straight back to being normal and flexible and, and uh, mobile around the place. I'm really looking forward to being a hands-on granny um, and uh, I'm looking forward to teaching my eldest grandchild to play tennis. Most surprising activities I've done since the hip resurfacing, probably surfing. I used to surf a lot when I was younger in Cornwall but in the last few years it was just too cold and really seized up my hips and I've really gotten back into it and it's been great. But yeah, I think you have to make uh, sort of decisive and bold decisions for the quality of your life at the end of the day, don't you? So I've got a new hip, got a new baby, hopefully a new house and yeah, fingers crossed it's a sign of things to come. Here's to the future. <laughs>